everyone, I'm Catherine Messina Saplin, your beer mistress, and this week we're trying this beer. Zondert Trappist Art. And we're gonna open this up, and unlike my other beers, this one comes with sort of a ranty story. Here's the bottle cap. It has a nifty bird on it. I like it. Disclaimer! This beer isn't Belgian. It's from the Netherlands, so... You might have noticed that when it comes to my beer reviews, I don't often focus on the style of the beer because my experience has shown me that it's not standardized. So it's difficult to, to name styles because what it would be called in the US probably doesn't exist in Belgium. And I think a great example of that is the Belgian strong ale category, which doesn't exist in Belgium. The beers that they're talking about are quadruples, triples, and doubles, all of which are very different beers. So the fact that in the US they're just able to clump them all together makes no sense to me whatsoever. But we're not gonna judge. Don't judge, Catherine, it's not nice. This is a Trappist beer. Based on my experience, there are two types of Trappist. There's authentic Trappist beer, and then there's the style of Trappist beer. And the style of Trappist beer isn't the same as an authentic Trappist beer. This beer is the descendant of all beers because beers in Belgium started in the church with monks brewing beers. And so when you get an authentic Trappist beer, it is literally a beer that has been made by Trappist monks. And the Trappist part comes from the order of their religious sect stuff and whatnot. Just so happens that Belgium has the most, I think at 14, the Netherlands has two. This is from one of them. De cave it? My Dutch is so strong. And then there are a couple other countries who have recognized Trappist beers. There's a whole organization um, that, that protects the authenticity of Trappist. This was recommended to me by Brandon. Here, let's smell this. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells delicious. This has such a citrusy clean note coming off of it. Ah. Oh. I could just sniff this. Let's look at the color, put it toward the sun. Ooh, wow. I don't think that this is going to show up at all on my camera, but this beer looks like a sunset. And I, I don't think I've ever seen that with the beer. And I use the same glass all the time. So, wow, I, I don't know how they did that. That's cool. We're gonna try this, I'm excited. It was brewed by monks, his own set. Oh my goodness. This is so smooth. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is delicious. I have to put this down. This beer comes in at 8% ABV. It's one of those beers that it's gonna kick my butt and making it delicious didn't do me any favors. Oh my goodness. That smooth taste. And the head on this is working so beautifully because it's not popping in my throat. It's more, it's more of like a mousse consistency. It's, oh my gosh. I can't even really put into words about what this tastes like because it just, it tastes smooth. Oh, wow. Side note, if you're ever going out and you want to get a Trappist beer and you want an authentic Trappist beer, one that has been brewed by the monks, you're going to want to look for that little symbol. It's going to be somewhere on the bottle. And as long as it has this symbol, that means it is an authentic beer brewed by Trappist. If it doesn't have that symbol, then it's just using the word Trappist as a marketing ploy. This symbol is the protected symbol. We're learning so much today with this beer. It's so delicious. So Trappist beers, beers made by monks. Monks who are religious and making beer to sell to people to encourage them to drink. Which is such a different mindset from my history as an American where <laughs> we had the religious church people saying that alcohol is the devil's drink and making alcohol illegal for over 10 years. 
I, I, ah, uh, it's just, it's so smooth and delicious. Mmm. Hazel, it's so smooth. So special thanks to Brandon for recommending this to me. That's what I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. The mighty algorithm gods don't care as long as you interact with my video. By the way, my analytics have shown me that 80% of you watch my videos but don't want to be my friend. I can be your enemy. We can hate each other. I'm, I'm open to all roles. Check out the description for all the links to my social media if you can't get enough of my lovely face. If you like this type of video, cause I do lots of them, check out my Beer Mistress Beer Review playlist and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tote scenes, may apple scenes. This was so delicious. Ooh, there's... Tiny one. Oh, that was so good. Oh, why is beer so tasty? Good jobs to to the Netherlands. This was delicious.